What's up, everybody? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Love Pisces in this mother sucker, baby. Join me as I read you you all's lives. Now, this is going to be a worldly energy, all right? So this is going to be for everyone of what I see that's coming and what you need to look out for, possibilities of what's going to take place in the summertime 2024, all right? Um, so, um, I'm doing this purping, per this reading for the purposes and the intentions of getting the information out there so that everyone will be able to understand what's getting ready to take place. Okay. So if it doesn't apply, nigga, Hey, I can't help you. All right. So I got my morning ale. I also have my vanilla bean Starbucks coffee. So let's go ahead and jump right on into the spirit. You are welcome into this reading. You must sage the cards for all of my Piscean gods, baby. Okay. All right. So I was getting the word um, experimentation for some of you guys. Um, there might be government experiments, something systematic that might be taking place that you guys are going to see, or this could be underhanded as well. All right. Um, so first thing that spirit put on my mind the last couple of days was to talk about um, rent, rental properties, um, evictions, landlords, tenants, foreclosures, um, the market, the rental market. So the very first couple of energies that I got was that there's going to be a lot of homelessness. Could be a lot of evictions as well, too. Um, this isn't nothing new. Okay. This is not new information. It's happening around the world and there's going to be a crisis. And I don't mean to, you know, put fear mongering into the people, but people do need to be aware of what's happening. So even if you have hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars, there are still people that might be living pay to, paycheck to paycheck. Okay. There might be a decrease for some of you guys, and I won't say that there's going to be um, a substantial amount of people that are in these markets, but there are a lot of people that will be going through this, all right? So I was seeing that uh, the government here in the United States, I don't know where you guys are from, but majority of my audience from... Um, YouTube states that it's mostly in the United States. So I'm going to talk about that. Um, there is a crisis that is happening and taking place right underneath our noses. People's houses are going into foreclosure. Banking systems are definitely um, going to be a lot of changes. Um it might be due to what's happening in the presidential election. It also might be uh, simply because there's not enough housing for all of the people that are being born or have been born in certain parts of the world. So it's, you're going to see um, where people are homeless, living in hotels, downsizing, instead of actually upgrading. Now, I know that some of you guys um, have stability. You could even be um, privileged as well, but there are a lot of people that are not privileged. 
who cannot get bank loans or loans from their mother and father or um, the people that support or support systems, there's going to be a increase of people moving in together. So, so far, what I've seen in the market is that people are having to share certain spaces. So you guys know I've been to North Carolina, Oklahoma, Texas. Um, I've been to Arkansas. I've been to Alabama. I've been to South Carolina, West Virginia, Virginia, um, Kansas as well in the last five months. And what I seen was is that they're upping the prices in the market. There, of course, is a um, a lot of inflation. The requirements of certain uh, statures for homes, apartments, townhomes, condos, um, unless you're on some sort of assistance or affordable programs. Um, there's going to be a lot of changes that happen for people to um, have to figure out, scramble on what it is that they're going to do. So let me tell you guys a little bit. My mom and dad were upper middle class. And um, when my mom passed away, they were both the breadwinners, but when my mom passed away, that was when I seen a lot of changes that had to take place in one singular person. My dad had to adjust to her passing away, find and downsize from the four bedroom that they had all the way to one apartment living space once she passed away. The bills were um, skyrocketing. The mortgage changed. The um, increase of his finances definitely um, fluctuated. Whether they had a pension plan, retirement plan, um, things of that nature. See that a lot of people um, have to adjust to those changes and it might cause a spike in um, having to get along with each other, moving in together, um, family dynamics as well. Because, you know, there's a lot of people that, you know, it's like 50-50, either you don't have the support or the family or you do have the support or that could be 50-52. You guys understand what I'm saying? Make sure you guys hit the like button as well, too. So um, it's been times where certain dynamics and dynasties had to combine their families together or they had to lessen down and smallen down what's, uh, uh, what's happened. They've had to adjust and become accustomed to what has happened to their lives or to their families. But then there are people um, that naturally live by themselves and the market is not made for the American dream or the dream that we thought was America. So there's gonna be a lot of changes with that hopefully the laws and bills that are passed. Now, I met a subscriber and he was telling me about how Florida was one of the first to make sure that homeless uh, people or, encamp or encampments, um, that they had to go to jail, be criminalized for being homeless. And I'm not talking about the RV life. I'm talking about actual uh, homelessness and people that sleep in the parks that live, you know, free, freely. He was letting me know that they, Florida passed, passed the law for that. So that means that there are multiple people and I should look up the actual numbers because I remember it saying that there were up to 3 million people that are um, homeless and it has increased by, I believe, percent. Um, and in my travels, I've seen people using truck stops, as showers, 
gym memberships as a place to clean themselves and get themselves together. I also seen where uh, people have been living in hotel spaces. They've had to downsize their job um, quickly got rid of them. And most people don't have a plan because if you think about it, when you first go to an interview, that's if for some of you guys, because I haven't been to an interview in quite some time, but um, I do remember going to certain interviews and they ask you, do you see yourself here long term? Little did people know they could just fire you at the drop of a hat and you have to just pick up your shit. Uh, even with YouTube, I have seen the fluctuation of that as well, where I've had to, you can tell that the ads and the suitability of the ads are actually, um, they don't have a, uh, they have a smaller budget and you could see the decrease in people's paychecks and the weary energy that people were giving off because they were either demonetized or they did not uh, get enough views or their views had decreased. So even in my job, I've seen the fluctuation of everyday standard paycheck to paycheck. And it's been times where certain um, things that you thought could take place whether you have a entrepreneurial shit job or not, you have to be well prepared and well versed to be able to um, go along with different changes and different um, things that happen, the necessities that you need, okay, the essentials that are day to day that you have to pay for. So, with that being said, there's going to be a lot of different things happening under the surface with homeowner, homeowner and landlord and also the government, what they control in the banking systems as well. That's what you're going to see for the summer. You're going to see a lot more homes going into floor closure, people traveling and moving to different uh, states in order to adjust to their income. A lot more evictions on records. Um, and if this hasn't happened uh, in your eyes, you will gradually see the changes that are happening if you're not just in your bubble. Even the rich or people that are considered rich might have to fall on those circumstances at some point in time and downsize. Okay, it could be retirement, sicknesses. Any uh, anything that causes life to change abruptly, which is what life is about, you have to get accustomed to that. Um, so that's one thing that I was seeing. I'll tell you guys in another video um, what exactly is going to be happening with the government, and also what's to take place um, with the lower levels of people in life. That'll be in the next episode. I'm also seeing where um, little penalties could be a major problem, even though you're trying to do certain things inch by inch or piece by piece. I do see, the, um, I'm gonna definitely do a video on that, but I also feel like, um, yeah, I gotta spray the air real quick. I also do feel like um, there's going to be a lot of um, gold trading, silver trading, and also loan and banking systems um, that are going to crash. Also, the stock market, and it may not be actual what it's done before, but it's going to definitely do some um, some major changes. So before, be on the lookout for those videos. Um, there also could be something about self-freedoms, independence, traveling as well. Um, so I'm just going to get one clarifier for this reading. Like I said, it could be a lot of experimentation that's happening, whether that be through the gov government, the banking systems, whatever the case may be. 
All right, we have honor the masculine, respecting men, embracing their masculine divine. Falling in love, kissing the divine in another and in yourself. Also homeland here at the bottom of the deck. Arrival, a journey ends, establishment, building, settled. So this could also be, um, for some of you guys, it could be office buildings, getting settled in different places, counties, cities, providences, whatever the case may be. Whatever the journey we thought was um, going to happen is definitely not what it is. So homeland here. And yeah, yeah, original freedom and power. So it's going to be a lot of power okay, and systems that are happening. Um, you also have temple of birth. So there could be something about um, children or numbers with children. I'm also getting um, the ocean could be very significant, but we're going to definitely do this in each series. It says the return of Aphrodite temple birth of the goddess guidance. God is energy and treating as sacred. So this might be about the environment, the clouds. Uh, what do they call that? Y'all tell me in the comments when they do the X marks the spot and all of the zigzag shit that they put in the cloud. CERN. So this might be very significant as far as that. Weather changing. Okay. That might be that experimentation. So... This could be um, different body types, DNA, prototypes of DNA. Okay, and the combination over time. I really think about um, the German experiment with, um, and the Tuskegee Airmen experiment as well. What they do for generations to watch and see and profile each family or family member that was created. Once they got the disease, what truly happened? There's going to be a lot of things that are being covered by the government or talked about, okay? Especially if you get cancer from a building or cancer from uh, pesticides, whatever the case may be, you guys are going to see this shit, all right? Let me know what you all think in the comments down below. Make sure you guys check out all of my readings as well, too. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.